So a picture of a barefoot Prime Minister Andrew Holness went viral last week and caused quite a stir. Later, it was even made into an advertisement. That's the picture that's now on your screen. Mr. Holness was campaigning in Southeast St. Mary ahead of the by-election, and like politicians before him, he had to go to a community that is not easy to get to. There's no proper road leading to Chesterfield, St. Mary. Then you get to a river, and there's no bridge. The people have to wade through that river to get in and out of the community then walk through dirt tracks to get to their houses. Last week, the Prime Minister's picture spurred a discussion about politicians and promises and even whether he should have taken the photograph. And bear in mind, he's not the only person to have done so. This evening, we're putting the people of Chesterfield at the center of the story. TVJ's Shamela Mitchell has their story. A dirt track, then danger. This is the very same path the Prime Minister took recently on his campaign when he took off his shoes and crossed the river. We wanted to find out from the people living here if he was extravagant or realistic. Knowing Andrew, he was realistic. It's a reality for the over 300 residents living in Chesterfield, St. Mary. This is what they face on a daily basis. No roads, no bridge, just the river on the path in and out of the community. But what happens if someone gets sick or when children have to cross the river to go to school? Children running back here and crossing have no alternative. The situation can get worse, especially when there's a heavy downpour and the river is in spades. Angela Davis says this is seen happen in the hurricane season, which is from June to November of each year. How many times is up here, so? The water catch you. We have, we have, we close in a scandal bag like this. Sometimes they are marooned for days too. Who did that side have to stay that side? And who they up on the road have to stay up on the road? And children going to school are also affected. Many times they cannot come out go to school. None of them, sometimes all for the whole week. Nobody, no children can come out because the river. The river can be deadly as well. The residents say many lives have been lost and the river is to be blamed. I use my eyes and watch a man died right here in the water trying to cross it. But next man drowned it up the river and now the body don't find. And with the community some distance from the main road, it is difficult too to get someone to the hospital if they are sick and in need of medical treatment. Sometimes you have people over here take sick and sometimes they all die before you reach out with them. Sometimes they're dead before you reach out because sometimes at the time when they take sick, the river comes down. You can't move with them to go that side, so they just have to stay till they're dead. So given the poor conditions under which these residents live, have they ever considered living elsewhere, for instance? So I get Lanier to buy with the money that I could afford, so I buy Lanier and build my house. We have land here. Up there now, we have about 40 acres up there now. When nobody can occupy it, we know jump out land up there. We'll eat more people have land up there. Which is why they're calling for a bridge in the community. The residents say they have gone as far as to pool money to start this structure. But there is no money left to finish it. They say if they get the bridge, not only will they be able to get easier access, but the area can be used for other developments. Over the years, there's a whole city by itself like the window. When the government and the prime minister never look on, uh, the, 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 the church locked them up there, a school used to up there. So right now if we get driving, we'll go up there, we can build up hospital, we can build stadium. The residents say they are holding Prime Minister Andrew Holness to his promises to help them get a bridge. Me even said to him, say, like how oh, you roll up your toes foot now and cross the water and you wait up. If you will come back, he said, yes, you have to come back and you have to sit till that's we, we finish that. That's, that's finished, that's we can take with food out of the water. Shamela Mitchell, TVJ News.